What's up, YouTube? This is Foxtail Digital coming to you again with Black Girl Stocks. And in this video, we are going to be talking about candlestick charts. This is a question I also get. This is going to be really important, learning how to read and understand candlestick charts because, you know, you can use a bar chart, but that's pretty much just going to give you one bit of information. Uh, the regular bar chart is just going to tell you what the price is, where the price is going, and that's all you're going to get from that. And then you have the option of adding different indicators or, you know, tools to help you see patterns and things like that. All in all, the candlestick is going to tell you so much more about what's going on in the stock market versus just a regular bar chart. First, if this is your first time watching my videos, please make sure you click that thumbs up button. It really helps the channel. Also make sure you're subscribed and click that notification bell so that you get a notification anytime I upload a new video for you guys. Also, I just wanted to give a brief shout out. You see this shirt right here? Payday. It is Payday Friday. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Payday Friday, baby. I actually got this shirt from my friend. Uh, his name is Payday, he's an artist. He actually just put out a song called Guardian Angel, so I'll probably put that somewhere over here, but this is Guardian Angels. And uh, so yeah, shouts out to Payday. It's Payday, pay me. Let's talk about this Payday with these stocks though. Yeah, candlestick chart. Oh yeah, I don't have my green screen today. I'm actually about to go to the airport. I have a flight to Memphis in like two hours so i'm kind of a little bit jittery this probably wasn't the best time to shoot this video but it is what it is you know gotta get it gotta get it gotta get it that's dedication right yeah definitely for that yeah go ahead and definitely click that like button just for that okay so basically the first thing i want to say is off the top of my head the candlestick is going to give you four pieces of information so you're going to get four pieces of information just from looking at the candlestick as it is and the candlestick is going to show you the open price of the stock at that time period, the closing price of the stock at that time period. It's gonna show you the high point, meaning the highest point that that stock got to at that time period and also the lowest point. So those are the four things that this one candlestick can show you instantly, like right now. Traders can use candlesticks to make predictions on ongoing patterns in the stock market at that time. So it's really gonna help you on making strategies, when to get into a stock, when to keep the stock, and then when to sell the stock. I want to go over the basic look of a candlestick. And so right here, I'm looking at just a regular candlestick. It's a green bar. And so that green bar is actually called the body. Okay. And so the body is going to represent the price range between the open and close of that time period. So you see here, you have this green square, that's the body. And you see the bottom of that is the open and the top is the close. So if we were looking at this on a chart at that time, you would see the open, look over to your right, you know, the, the different prices, amounts and all that other stuff. So that's where it open and at the top, that's where it closed. Now you see, we're looking at a green one and this is an example of a bullish move, a bullish bar. Uh, in the last video, we talked about how to tell the difference between a bull and a bear. The bull attacks up, bear attacks down. So when you see a green bar, that means at that time, the closing price, it closed higher than it opened, so it increased. So that's why it's green, it increased in price. It opened down here, closed up here. And uh, you really can't change that in Robinhood and other and other platforms that you use like thinkorswim and things like that you can actually change the color of whatever you want it to be but i think for me just the plain jane green is fine for me to know that this was a bullish move so this is a good look it's it's possible possibility for uptrends you want to see a lot of green and then on the opposite side you have a red candle this red bar basically means that that stock at that moment and that time frame had a bearish move, meaning that it opened higher than it closed, it dropped. And so here, the open is going to be on the top. So it opened here at the top and then that price dropped down here to the close. So that's the difference between a bullish and a bearish candlestick. Next, you see these 
black lines sticking out of the chart. I know a lot of people ask about that. Those are called, they have different names. They have shadows or the wicks, whatever you want to call it. But basically that's going to show the high and the low of that time period. So if it was in bullish candle and you have these bars sticking at the bottom, that means that it dropped down to that point and then it actually rose up above above that close price, the top one, it rose up to that high and then it fell down to that close. So if it's on the, on the top, that means that it reached that high. That's how high it jumped. And then if you see one on the bottom, that means that was that was the lowest point that it reached at that at that time frame. So that's gonna show you the lowest point and it's gonna show you the highest point. And so one way that I think about it, this is how you read like that actual bar. This is the, the step that it's gonna go. So it's gonna have that open price and then it's going to drop down to that lowest price. So it opened here, it dropped all the way down there, then it rose up to a to this highest point and then it dropped down to the close. So basically that's that's how that works. Open, lowest, highest, close. Open, lowest, highest, close. Open, lowest, highest, close. Like if you have a shorter upper shadow, if it's shorter on the top, that's going to show that your closing for that day was really close to that high. You want your close to be near the high because that's a sign of an uptrend. So the relationship between those two, that's gonna tell you the look of that daily chart or whatever time frame you're using. And so the body, you can have a long body or a short body, and that's basically basically gonna tell you that volume or that, that price movement at that time. So if you have a shorter one, that means that there wasn't a lot of price movement, but if there's a long one, then there was a lot of activity going on at that time. And this is just a picture showing that the bullish candles that shows uptrend, bearish candles show a downtrend. And then they have different types. I'm not really gonna get into all of that in this video, but they have different types of bars. So you see right here, we're just gonna look at the bullish candles, but you have one full bar, and then you have one that has a long, long highest point. It doesn't have one on the bottom. Then you have one that has a high wick. You have one that shows a high wick, one that shows a low. Then you have this one. This one they said is really good. This is the hammer. That means it just has one really long one sticking out of the bottom. So that means that it closed really, really close to its highest point. That's really good. Yeah, so here's an example of one that didn't have a lot of price movement. It's really, really, has a very thin body and it has very long wicks. All right, and then you see these on the bottom. It looks like it actually it doesn't have a body at all it's all wig it's all wig all shadows it's just those little black lines those are called dojis i don't know the way i remember i call it doja cast that forms when the open and the close price were very close but it did reach a high and it reached a low but it's still open to close around the same price so these are really good because just face value just a doja cat i mean excuse me just a doji by itself it really doesn't signify anything but if you see that in the middle of a trend like let's say if you're you're seeing an uptrend and then you just see this random doja cat or doji in there then that can definitely be a sign of a reversal or some type of trend switch candlesticks are just going to show you price action it's going to give you information about what that price is doing at that time in that action and that's also the next part i want to get into about this is the period and the time frame of the candlestick so all right so i'm just going to show this chart here so this is just the naked chart i'm on robin hood right now this is just going to be a naked chart and i'm going to change it to candlestick different candlesticks are going to show you different time periods and in different periods that's what that each candlestick is going to tell you what that time frame is so for example well from the looks of it, okay, on Robin Hood, it's looking like each of these bars represents five minutes. But if you go into another thing, let's go, I'm gonna go on to Thinkorswim. Hold on. We're just gonna go back to the MGM. But okay, each, this is a 15 minute chart, okay? Each of these bars represents 15 minutes of price movement or price action in the stock market. So you see this one, this red bar. Okay, we were just talking about MGM the other day. MGM, mm -mm, she wasn't doing too good <laughs> last week. This is from 8.45, 8.45 to 9 o'clock, to 9.15, to 9.30, 
to 9.45. So each of these are in increments of 15 minutes. So each of these bars is gonna show you 15 minutes of price action. And then if we go to another time frame, and honestly, it doesn't show it to you this way in Robinhood. Robinhood is a little bit confusing with that. We can go on a minute chart, and each of these bars is going to represent one minute of movement. So this is from 13.30, well, what is 13? Is that 1, 131? This is at 131. Is that 132, 133, 134? So that each of those bars represents one minute of movement. And so that people normally would use that information if you're day trading, meaning you want to get into that stock. You want to know what it's doing at that minute at that time. If we go to a year, one day chart, each of these is gonna represent one day. So this is March the 11th, March the 12th. March the 13th, this is a full day of movement. So that's another thing. The time frame that you're on is gonna make, um, it's gonna show you different things too. So time frame is important, or they call it period. Time periods, time frames, however you wanna think about it. And I'm not gonna talk about it in this video, but a lot of what you can use with candlestick charts, even more so than just knowing what it looks like, you're gonna be able to recognize patterns Stocks have patterns and different candlesticks show you different patterns. They have a whole list of just patterns that you can memorize and all that. I'm not really getting into that yet, but you know, that's another way that candlesticks can be beneficial to your trading. Yeah, so I mean, that's, that's pretty much the basics of what a candlestick is. So I'll probably do another video with more information about how to understand the patterns. Uh, that'll take some time, but this is just the basics, bare minimum of what candlesticks are, how to read them, what they mean, what they tell you. Open, close, high, low, remember that. And remember, it's either gonna be bullish or bearish, that's green or red, and it's going to tell you price movements, price directions, it's gonna, it's gonna help you recognize trends. Um, so really, really, really get into using candlesticks. It's gonna tell you a lot of information about the stock, but uh, that's pretty much all I have for you. I gotta go, gotta get ready for this flight. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click that thumbs up button, and also make sure that you're subscribed and click that notification bell so you get notified anytime I upload a new video for you guys. But that's all I have for you. This Foxtel Digital with Black Girl Stocks and I'll catch you on the next video. Alright.